says riders will not have to switch trains tomorrow while riding the Braintree Quincy branch of the Red Line. They credit nonstop repairs in the wake of last week's derailment. But the T does say you'll still want to add some time to your commute tomorrow morning. WBZ's Jim Smith is at the JFK UMass station with the latest. Definite progress tonight here on the Red Line. Much of the damage from last week's derailment has been repaired. But the real test comes during the Monday morning commute. On a rainy Sunday night, work crews were still out on the red line tracks at JFK UMass Station. The long weekend of repairs has produced results. Braintree and Quincy riders now no longer need to change trains because service has resumed on all tracks here. But one big question remains for riders. How do you think Monday's going to be? Um, should be fine, I hope. You know, we'll see what happens, but um... I hope it's fine. The damaged signals and tracks have been fixed, but the T is still telling riders to plan on 20 minutes of additional travel time because trains are at reduced speeds until final repairs are made to switches. It's frustrating, but I mean, there's not really much you can do. Well, like always, you know, like sometimes they have problems, sometimes it breaks down, you know. Despite all of this, T management is predicting better times ahead. We anticipate investing $8.3 billion over the next five years into the entire MBTA. Specifically on the red and orange line, this, it's $2 billion we plan on investing in the red and orange line, which will result in new cars, tracks, signals, power, and maintenance facilities. But for now, at least one commuter will be hedging his bets. Me personally, I take an Uber into work, um, and I'll take the red line back home. Just because, you know, you never know how it's going to go with, with the uh, public transportation. It's always a bit tricky. Once again, the MBTA says you should plan that your Monday morning commute here on the red line will possibly last an extra 20 minutes as some work does continue here. At the JFK UMass stop, Jim Smith, WBZ News.